Hey guys, today I'm with one of my favourite authors, Holly Bourne, and today we're going to be talking about feminism, which is actually one of my favourite topics. Mine too, mine yeah. too. <laughs> this is because Holly's books focus on it quite a lot, and um, I thought it would be a good idea, so we have an expert on the channel. For people who don't know, can you tell us what your books are about? So I've written a trilogy of books about a group of girls who start a feminist grassroots campaign group called the Spinster Club and the first is called Am I Long Yet? and it's about a girl called Evie with OCD and it examines like the link between mental health and feminism. The second one is called How Hard Can Love Be? and it's about a girl called Amber. Yay! <laughs> who, um, and um, how she has like an strange relationship with her mum. And then my new book is called What's a Girl Gotta Do? I think we've got a proof actually, have we? Woo, there it is. <laughs> I love it so much. And it's about Lottie and she starts this feminist campaign where she kind of gets feminist hiccups and she has to call out every single instance of feminism that she sees for a whole month and she makes it into a video channel. For people who aren't sure, what is feminism? Um, so to me, and I think it's different things to different people, but to yeah. me it is just basic equality. Mm -hmm for any person on this planet, regardless of their gender, their race, their religion, their abilities, um, where they were born, which country, it's just equality for everybody. Um, but the word feminism kind of, I think, is really important because mm. it acknowledges the fact that gender plays a huge part in inequality yeah. and so that women for hundreds and hundreds of years have had a really hard time of it and I think that's why it's important to use the word feminism rather than like equalitivism. Mm. It always kind of confuses me when people say they believe in equality but not feminism. What do you think about that? It frustrates me to some degree um, but then I also believe in actions not words so sometimes mm. I would rather people be feminist in their behaviour yeah. and not use the word rather than be like, I'm a feminist. That's a really good point. But then not act that way, like talk over a girl or mm -hmm. contribute to rape culture or, you know, just really buy into negative stereotypes. Have you always been a feminist or was there like a turning point in your life where you thought we really need equality? I don't think I always have actually and I think although I feel ashamed to admit that, I think it's important to admit that and yeah. also to make it clear that it's never too late to yeah. find feminism. Um, I think growing up, especially as a teenager, um, there were lots of things that happened that made me feel like something wasn't right and this wasn't okay, yeah. but I didn't have the word feminism to like latch onto because yeah. it was in this kind of, I grew up in like the 90s, it was like this feminist Cold War fallout. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember there was this one lunchtime where it was raining and all the boys lined all the girls up in order of who had the nicest ass. Mm. Um, and then when they'd finished made us all line up in order who had the best boobs and who had the best legs and I remember feeling like massively uncomfortable yeah. about that um, and yeah, didn't have a word for that. Similar things happened at my school really? and just no one ever called them out on it um, and then when I left school I became aware of feminism and what it was and I was like this is what we've been missing. Um, it's like a light bulb, isn't it? Yeah. You're like finally there's like a word for all this like feeling in my feet, just yeah. tiny, that this isn't okay, and then you have a word to grab onto an egg. I yeah. don't know about you, do you feel like somebody like, you're in like quicksand and somebody gave you a stick and they're like dragging yeah. you out? Before, I just kind of thought I had to accept it because that's just what happened, but then I learned about feminism and I was like, oh, there's actually people who are combating it. Um, and we definitely need more of that, I think, especially in schools. I think with my books, that's what I'm hoping, is that they will light those fires, yeah. it's like to readers who maybe haven't had the file that we have, I'm hoping that my books will kind of, you know, ignite a few people who had the same feeling that this isn't right, like, and I don't know yeah. what to do about it, and they can read my books and be like, oh, feminism, like, that might help. Yeah, and if you're already a feminist and you read your books, um, like me, I learned a lot from your latest book, which is out in August. Well um, done. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that point. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard other women say that they don't agree with feminism, and what do you think about that? Um, it frustrates me, that is the polite answer to that question. Also, it annoys me because without feminism, they wouldn't even have the privilege to answer that question. However, people are saying it for a reason, and I think the reason is that they've had negative experiences with maybe people who call themselves feminists, and that makes me really sad, yeah. um, because it is a good movement that's wanting to do good for everybody. I try to get past my annoyance and try and be like, well, what happened to make you feel that way? and 
try and like give them a positive representation of feminism, what it can be, to try and win them over. In your books, Evie, Amber and Lottie sometimes accidentally do things that they think aren't feminist. Um, do you think it's possible to be a perfect feminist or are we never going to be able to get past what's been ingrained in us for so long? It's impossible. You can't be a perfect human being, you know, yeah. let alone a perfect feminist. Um, and actually the idea that a feminist could be perfect I think is really sexist in itself because mm. we if expect perfection from women when we don't tend to expect perfection um, in men in the same way that we use one woman as an example for an entire gender yeah. so sort of like Hillary Clinton in the USA you know she does one thing we don't agree with we're like well she's women are bad in politics mm. with this one person whereas other male people who are doing some sort of election stuff in America and not behaving very well, we're not looking at him and going, men are awful at politics, no. we're not using him as his one standard. That's a really good point. Um, and so I actually think it's quite sexist to attack feminists for not being perfect feminists because you're mm. actually trying to measure women and see if they fit this set tick box of how a woman is supposed to behave even as a feminist. Evie, Amber and Lottie in the books have this club where they discuss feminism and it's called the Spinster Club and in that club they always eat loads of cheesy snacks. <laughs> they do. <laughs> what is your favourite cheesy snack? Nachos. Mm. But not just with cheese, like it has to have the guacamole, salsa. the sour cream, salsa, mm -hmm. like jalapenos and then like my tummy hurts and I wish I hadn't done that to myself. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. yours? Um, I'm less about cheese snacks and more about just putting cheese on everything, <laughs> like pasta, salad, mashed salad. potatoes. I don't oh. know if that's normal, no, no, but that's I do good. that. Cheese is just life, basically. You're a good spinster. You understand the Thank importance you. of cheese. I'm vegetarian. I should so am I. Um, yeah. See, we're not perfect examples no. of anything. We're totally problematic human beings. No one's beings. perfect. No one's perfect. Who are your top three favourite authors and why? <sighs> that's hard. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good ones to choose from. Okay, so Harper Lee, the author of mm -hmm. Dick and Mockingbird, um, I honestly believe that reading that book makes you a better person. Yeah. Um, and that book is like my blueprint in how I try to live my life. Um, so her. The next is, I'm gonna have to edit out my thinking <laughs> time. I've got it, I've got it. Okay. Louise Renison. Those books when I was a teenager were my life. Me too. Uh, I, I love them so much. Like they taught me that women and girls could be funny yeah and they really reflected what my friends were like like we were just a bit nuts growing up and we would have weird games where mm -hmm. we'd draw like fake moustaches on each other you know and i love those i books. have actually done that <laughs> yeah i don't know um okay, do right. you want to carry on Kate and Ryan. yeah And then finally Kate Moran, because um, How to Be a Woman, although that book I think has dated in some ways mm. since I read it, there's sort of some things that she says now that but, but I'm like, uh. but at the time that book was what lit my flame, I was 27 and hadn't found feminism yet and I read that book and that was what made me kind of go, yes, this is like, it, it, it was like a euphoric moment, so mm. I really owe her for doing that because it changed my life. That book. Have you seen her TV series Raised by Wolves? It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Is it really good? Yeah. Okay, I should like binge watch that. You definitely need to. I'm on um, Orange is the New Black at the moment. I haven't seen oh, that. Oh my god. It's <laughs> so good. It's so good. To finish, what is your top writing tips for any aspiring authors who might be watching this? Okay, this is going to sound so basic, but it really works. Write. Just mm -hmm. write. Um, and don't worry about whether it being good or not. Mm -hmm. um, just get it written because you can't mend a blank page. It is basically just read a lot and write a lot, but that does, that is what every author I've ever 
known answers with they just they write and they read thank you so much for coming on my channel hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already if you want to check out all these books which i highly recommend you do i'll leave links to where you can buy them in the description below and also where you can find her on social media and that's all i have to say thank you for watching and thank i'll see you, you next week me. thank you thank you bye. for coming bye that was such a Yay. like Ganny wave. Um, have you always been a feminist, or was there like a turning point where you where you thought we need equality now? Um, yeah, I'm gonna say that again. Okay. <laughs> and it's about um, I fluffed my line. <laughs> Have you always been... wait, no, oh my god. <laughs>